Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is uh, Julius again, another Cork Chronicles video. Had a quick question uh, come up on the Cork forums, and I wanted to make a quick video. I've been looking for an excuse to make a new video, um, so I just decided to throw this out real quick. Um, hope this helps some guys out currently and uh, also guys in the future. I've seen this question come up before, uh, so just wanted to put this info out there. Uh, but the question was the guy was wondering um, as far as being able to use. Um, to humanize the preset drum, fit, drum patterns that the core Kronos and other core keyboards have. Um, didn't want them to be so straight feeling, um, uh, robotic, very quantized. Uh, so there is a way that you can shuffle those beats a little bit, um, even the preset patterns. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know that you can utilize this feature to do this. Uh, so I'm gonna show this off real quick. Um, anyway, um, everybody knows, um, I think we've talked about this before, I may have to do another video on this, but in order to add the preset patterns into a mix, you're gonna push, um, at the default sequence screen here, uh, you're gonna push the pattern RPPR button here, all right, it's gonna bring up this screen. You want to make sure that you have preset in the pattern box here. And uh, you can choose any one of the patterns here. There's no way to preview them. That is a uh, current bug in the Cork OS. This is the first time I've experienced not being able to uh, preview these patterns um, uh, before you enter them into your sequence. Uh, but you go, you select, you know, um, whichever one you would like to insert into your sequence. You push this edit pattern edit button at the top of the screen. Um, this is a very important part here. You want to use copy to MIDI track. If you use put to MIDI track, it basically just inserts a marker or a uh, reference number to the drum pattern, not the actual MIDI data. Uh, you need the actual MIDI data there uh, for this to work. So you're going to use copy to MIDI track. That actually puts the MIDI data there. Um, I picked the wrong one versus um, just a like a reference number. You want the actual data on the track. So push copy to MIDI track. All right, now normally here you can push uh, the play button or the start button and it'll let you preview these uh, patterns before you put them in your track. Uh, but for some reason that's not working right now. I have reported that to Korg, um, so I'm sure they'll get that fixed up pretty soon. Um, so you just select one. I'm just going to pick one because it doesn't really matter uh, for the sake of this example push OK, it automatically inserts it and you see the measure change from uh, 1 to 9. That means the pattern that we just inserted took up 8 measures and it's going to automatically insert the next one uh, that you put there in measure 9. But we only want to put one there just for the sake of this example. Uh, so we push exit and now if I push play you'll be able to hear that drum pattern. Oops. All right, you want to make sure also, just, just in case, you want to also make sure you put a drum uh, patch on the track that you're um, going to have the, the sound on, because if you don't, this is what you're going to hear when you push play. And uh, as weird as it sounds, some people may like that, but that's not what we're looking for at this point. So you want to make sure you have a drum, um, a drum patch selected um, to be able to play the MIDI data. Let me pick one, a different one. All right, cool. So we got that selected there. All right, then how you want to go about to shuffling this um, this MIDI data there to dehumanize a little bit? You're gonna go to track edit, and there's a little another way to quantize your music here. You push the quantize setting, and then you see all these settings here this is gonna quantize your music, okay? So it's just like, when, when I quantize, I quantize my music uh, while I'm recording it using this uh, part here, the record resolution. That's how I quantize my my, uh, my data. But if the data's already been recorded, you can go to this screen here and uh, specifically set how you want the information uh, to be quantized. So uh, just depending on what meter you want it, you push the resolution and uh, select one of the um, different beat types, quarter note, eighth note, dotted eighth note, sixteenth, not dotted, excuse me, um, triplet eighth note, and you have sixteenth note, triplet sixteenth, uh, sixty, thirty second note, and triplet thirty second. I may be saying all that wrong, man. I'm, 
16th. Oh well, I don't remember. Um, anyway, I, I, I'm just I'm drawing a blank right now for as far as that's concerned. Um, anyway, um, so that's there. Um, you so change these settings here depending on how you want the beat quantized. Um, and this is going to be a trial and error part here because there's nothing to actually specify um, exactly what the numbers mean. Um, they do have meaning, the amount of swing, uh, the offset is basically meaning whether you're wanting the notes pushed after the beat or before the beat. Uh, if it's a negative number and offset, it's going to be before the beat. If it's a positive number, it's going to be after the beat. So just depending on uh, what you want to do, how you want the beat shuffled, how far off the beat you want it uh, forward or backward, uh, you change this here. And then the intensity of the quantization is here. Okay, so um, just to let you listen to our beat before again. All right, but once you add this quantization, I'm left all the settings the same, I'm gonna push okay. All right, now listen to it. All right. So you saw it change the beat, uh, dehumanize it a little bit, shuffled it up. I'm gonna go back to what we had before. I'm gonna try to change these settings. Um, see if we can get something, make it sound a little different. Change the offset to 50. Put the swing on 65. Just trying something different, see what we get. All right, see what it sounds like now. So you see you can change that preset MIDI data just by um, moving this um, these parameters around a little bit. See if we get something else. Put the swing on 90%, offset on negative 75. So you see it keeps changing it. Um, you can go in there and uh, fool around with it a little bit and see if you make it sound exactly like you want it to sound. Uh, just want to throw this information in there too. Uh, this would help you a little bit if you have certain instruments that you want to shuffle and not other instruments. You can use this um, under the kind of information you want quantized. You can pick what you want, put it on note, and then select the note specifically that you want changed. So if your snare drum is on a um, uh, certain key, that's on uh, D. So if you want that note there to be uh, quantized, you can push that that key, and if you hold the enter button at the same time while you press that key, um, I got the camera in one hand, um, so I can't do it right now, uh, but if you hold the enter key, I'll do it one of the other keys. So if you want this bongo key um, right here quantized, you would put push enter and then push that key, and you see it changed that the quantization bottom note to that key, and then you change the top note to the same key and so now it's just going to quantize just that specific key so if you want to swing or shuffle your snare or your hi-hat or your kick drum it's only you would just find the key that that specific sound is on and then set the settings where those are the only keys being manipulated and then you go in and push ok and it'll shuffle your beat or quantize your beat however you want it done uh, to your specifications for that specific key. If at any moment you don't like what you've done, just push the compare key. It erases what you did and you can go back and listen to the way it was before. Uh, to know that compare key is engaged, um, you just, when you push the compare key, it lights up like that. That's the compare key. When it's 
now it's what the last information you put in the uh, sequencer is erased and um, it went back to how it was before and if you want to bring back what you did before you've recorded again just push compare um, so this is um, a little 10 minute quick video I hope this helps out the guy specifically that asked about it on court forums uh, and also you guys in the future if this ever um, anyone ever comes across this video um, I hope this helps if you have any questions please let me know sorry about the mistake on the meter not the meter but the uh, names of the uh, eighth note quarter note um, uh, symbols um, I'll get that edited in a um, annotation for my, my video uh, I hope you this helps some guy, someone and I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, take care bye bye